Hey guys, this is Dave here from DD Drums. Welcome to this lesson on how to play No One Knows by Queens of the Stone Age. Now if you have a request, be sure to put in the comments section down below. Uh, this, was, this video here, it was actually a request and that's exactly why I'm making this lesson today. All right, so in today's lesson, we are gonna go through you know, some of the main parts of the song. The part we're gonna start off with is the, the introduction where you've got the like that. So that's basically going, you know, floor tom with a bass drum and a tom tom. So those three things there, tom, floor tom, bass drum. And then on the two, you're playing snare with open hi-hats. And then three, you're gonna close the hi-hat but play those three drums again. And then four, you're gonna open up this hi-hat again. So it's going. Then we go through the, the main beat that starts off with, it goes like this. So that, that, that's one of our main beats that right there. And what that's doing, playing the height going one, two, three, four. Bass drum on all one, two, three, four and then snare drum on two and the four. Let's try the metronome at about 164 bits per minute. That leads us to the next point where you've got that beat, but also there's little changes added to it. For example, you've got this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That second bar is pretty interesting there. You're going one, two, three, four. So one, one, two, three, four. That's our rhythm. And that's pretty much the pattern there. The snare is kind of landing on the three ah, so it's laying on an off beat there. One, two, three, four. Let's try that with the metronome as well. All right, next section we look at is also one of the parts that happens in the verse. And that's where it goes, it goes one, two, three, four, one. So that, in that second bar, it's going one, and then you're opening the high on the two. And you're going three and a four, a on the snare. So that whole section would be like this. All right, so the next section we're gonna look at is the, the fills you know, that happen in that chorus. So there's actually like four different fills that happen in the chorus. And let's go to the first one. It's going to go like this. So one and a two and a three. So you hear that? That's like a triplet. One and a two and a three, a four and a one, a two, a three and a four and a. Uh. 
except you're putting the bass from the one, two, three, four as well. And then you go into the, the main beat in the chorus. Like that, two bars. The second part that happens in the fill is like this. That's how we actually do it there. We'll slow that down. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. So you notice that fill at the end is two snares, two toms, two floor toms. And then it goes back to that, that beat again in the chorus. You have two bars doing that. And then we have this, you know, idea of roughs, you know, three, three stroke rough uh, in triplet form, like. With a bass drum on the one, two, three, four. You know, the way I like to play that is snare, tom, snare, second tom, snare, tom, second tom, floor tom. I think it's a little bit different on the actual recording. He uses a, a fourth floor tom. But this is cool. This works. So you're going... Now, and counting like this. One and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a... Uh, Except we're just speeding up. Like that. With the metronome. One, two, three, four. And then you go back to that part of the chorus again, which is like this. Two bars. And the fourth fill, you know, is the fourth part of the solo is doing crash, snare, snare, crash, snare, snare, crash, snare, snare, crash. So it's just triplets. One and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a. Uh. And, you know, you're putting the bass drum in every one, two, three, four as well, like this. You know, going for two bars with a metronome. One, two, three, four. If you slow it down as well. And of course we're going back to that fill as well. So let's try and have a go of that whole fill section as one section. So in the second solo, in the second solo, you've actually got a different ending of the solo. The actual ending goes like this. But the way we kind of think that one out is, first of all, count it. One, two, uh, 
a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. One, two, a, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. So I still write down the whole fill. So you can hear there's a few snare drum flams in there too. There you go, that's the fill that happens the second solo. So the bridge groove is a little bit different. The bridge groove, we changed that. It's a lot like the first uh, chorus groove, but you've got this bass drum that sits in the beat as well. So it sounds like this. The way I think of that is one. Then we have this, you know, the, the fill that happens in the bridge, which is kind of like, you know, six, eight, because you've got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's actually like six notes evenly spaced out in, in the fill. And that's going to be like this. like open snare with open hats and then a flam and then a bass drum and then a flam again on the snare and then two floor toms or one floor tom one tom tom all together like that and then we have the next part which is like a little fill in once again in six eight It's going flam, kick. Next step is we have the bridge solo, and in the bridge solo, we're going to be doing like lots of triplets around the kit. So the first line looks like this. You know, play it slower. The second line is going to look like this. So that one down. And the third line is going to be like this. Like that. And the fourth line is going to be like this. And the fourth line is going to be like this. And the fifth line is doing the same pattern we did in the other solo. So we slow that one down. So let's try and put that whole section together and see how it sounds.
there you go. That's pretty much the lesson. So if you got any value from this lesson, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more lessons like this, be sure to subscribe. And hey, if you have any ideas for lessons you'd like to learn in future lessons, be sure to put them down in the comment section down below. And yeah, hey, I will do my best to make a video of that lesson. And hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.